Hi all, Terhi here again. I'm playing today with September hip kits and especially with the color kit and the main kit, but um, I couldn't resist playing with the color kit as it included stamps and dies from Wiki Pudding and some lovely mists and paints from Shimmers. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this lovely flower stamp, which is definitely my favorite from the set, even though it's really big, but anyway, I'm going to play with it. And as you can see from the first stamped image that I haven't been stamping for a while, I forgot to push it like really hard, but I don't mind. I will color up this so it will cover up. Anyway, I'm going to stamp a couple of these bigger plumes and then some of the smaller ones. Uh, and I'm going to color them and then cut them off. There's two options for the cutting. You can use the stands, um, the dies. I'm talking finish here, but anyway. Uh, you, <laughs> you can use the dies. Um, and your cutting machine, or if you don't have one, you can just cut them out. Uh, I do have a machine, but as I was lazy, it was upstairs, and I was doing this downstairs, I decided that, okay, I can cut them out with scissors. But first, I'm going to color these. And as you see, I'm not going to... Um, be too specific with the coloring. I mean, it's fine to do it and it's beautiful, I guess, but in this case I know that these flowers will not be visible like uh, completely everywhere. So the point is to have the flower shape and some color and then it will fit to my finished layout. I love this shimmering paint from Shimmers because uh, it's really shimmering. You can't see it here in this video as well as I can see it uh, in my hands, but it's really shimmering and I love the way it goes with the black ink. Uh, Compare it to the mist one, the uh, pink one, um, it's covering up the black which is okay in this case, but in some cases you would have to be really careful to not cover the black one. Or then just first color the paper with the mists and then stamp on top. That would work. Um, the same thing goes with the yellow mist, but as said, I don't mind. Um, in this color kit we didn't have any green or anything to do green with. Uh, so I decided to take my watercolors. These are actually from one of the previous heap kits, like a year or two ago. <laughs> but anyway, I'm saving it all and I can reuse them time after time. So I mixed up some green and white and that will do for green leaves. And here I have done some serious fussy cutting, which is super cool, um, and I cut them out all, and now I'm ready to design my layout. We have lots and lots of these beautiful Pink Press Studio Indigo Hills 2 papers, which are really beautiful, colorful, um, lots of things to fussy cut out. And there were also lots of ephemera and stickers and, well, almost <laughs> all from that collection. And I really don't mind about it. Um, but I, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut out these lovely leaves, because these are so colorful and beautiful. They will give the right vibe <laughs> to this layout. Uh, and I'm going to use this yellow patterned paper as a base for the layout. And then 
I'm designing how I want to set all these flowers and leaves and blooms. Um, at this point I thought to make the design kind of horizontal, going from left to right or right to left, but while I was thinking about it, I decided to go with a little different way from the upper right corner to the lower left corner and you can see it in the finished um, finished photographs and of course in the end of this video. Um, but sometimes that happens. I'm thinking about something but it just doesn't happen that way and I have to change it because I don't want to do anything ugly. Well, anyway, I will try that one. So, now you can see all the lovely ephemera which came out in uh, September main kit. And I love the way that there's these different leaves, blue, yellow, orange, lots of frames, lots of uh, praises and more blooms and, well, lots of everything. Um, I'm going to use some kind of frame thing and and also in Project Life Kit from September there was this lovely My Prima Planner butterflies and of course I had to use some butterflies here so I picked them up. They were a bit um, bright colored but I don't mind. I picked up the ones I thought would perfectly to this layout and I will use the brighter ones to some other layouts. But I'm going to start with this lovely leaf from the right upper corner and then just setting up first these bigger blooms here and there with double-sided shape and then some smaller blooms and the other fuzzy cut um, leaf from Pinkfest Studio Papers. Um, I'm using foam tape or foam dots or anything 3D effect maker for everything I'm going to attach to this layout as otherwise it would be really thin and I want to have some air and some dimension again so that's why I chose to use some foam effect products um, yeah so at this point I'm just adding all the leaves and blooms where I want them to be and then I'm thinking about the title I love 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 these golden um, words and shapes but my photograph is a bit too big to add them on top so that's why I decided to take it off and go with one of the stickers from Pinker Studio. But as I love these golden ones so much, I wanted to have one little heart there. Um, but the last pace from making this layout was to add some color. As I said before, um, the layout would be really thin and Kind of boring without dimension so that's why I'm going to add more details and more more colors with these mists and maybe with some watercolors too because I really want to have it like artistic look or something and I think it went okay it's a bit time consuming to do it but Again, it's so much fun that I really recommend it to all. But here's some close-ups and then the finished layout and I hope you are inspired to do some serious thumbing and fuzzy cutting because it's always so much fun. So, thank you for watching and we will see you again sometime. I don't promise to come back in next week, but soon. Yes, bye!